First on News 11 and 7, where are your local election headquarters? The four candidates for mayor of St. Louis, three Democrats and a Republican, held a virtual forum today. News 11's Michaela McGee with what they had to say to voters. An online mayoral forum for St. Louis City was scheduled on Saturday afternoon where all four candidates could come on and address the public and also answer questions from the community. But technical difficulties abruptly ended that session, highlighting just one of the factors impacting this year's election. All four contenders, including City Treasurer Tashara Jones, Alderman President Lewis Reed, Alderman Kara Spencer, and Utility Executive and Businessman Andrew Jones, are having to navigate virtual campaigning and electoral process. We're trying to cover most things. With the forum crashing, none of the candidates were able to present their views or answer questions that would allow voters to gain a better understanding of their policies. For the first time ever, all candidates will compete in a single nonpartisan primary on March 2nd. Though many voters know the party affiliation of each candidate, it will not be listed on the ballot. And voters are able to vote for more than one candidate. The two favored candidates, Tashara Jones and Lewis Reed, commented on how Proposition D will affect this year's election. It's got to serve the average person, right? And Proposition D does not do that, which is why you see that, you know, candidates that with no infrastructure, no resources and things of that nature, they weren't able to get on the ballot, right? So you saw three minority candidates that were, you know, summarily dismissed. Uh, I think that Proposition D uh, is better for our democracy because uh, people will have choices. Uh, Proposition D also allows people to uh, vote for as many people as they want to in the first round. So there are four candidates on the ballot to judge us by the issues and stand for, not just by our party. The mayoral forum will be rescheduled and announced at a later date. Reporting at City Hall, I'm Michaela McGee, News 11.